What is up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about the dream car of every single guy that sells tampons and towels on Amazon because every single dropshipper that God has graced us with their presence on this earth wants one or has one or rents one versus the Audi R8 V10 Plus. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm talking about the Lamborghini Huracan. Anyhow if you are new here we do a bit of this a bit of car views and just a bit of everything car related so if you like cars make sure you subscribe. Please. The first thing we usually start with is the engines and we're gonna start with the Lamborghini Huracan. The Lamborghini Huracan, according to many, is a symphony of Italian passion. Under the rear glass will sit a 5.2 liter V10 engine pumping out 631 horsepower and 443 pound-feet of torque. And the 0-60 to 60 time on this thing is 2.8 seconds. While on the other hand, we have the Audi R8 V10 Plus, which again, according to many, is a masterpiece in precision engineering, and it houses the same 5.2 liter V10 engine, but instead of 631 horsepower, this one puts out 610 horsepower and 413 foot-pound of torque instead of 400 and 43 and the 0 to 60 time on this thing is 3.2 seconds now real quick let's take a look at the interior of these cars then we're going to start off with the lamborghini huracan so in the lamborghini huracan you're welcomed by an interior that's as dramatic as the exterior it's a blend of fighter jet inspiration according to some uh mcdonald's clowns uh, but since i'm saying that I could qualify as a McDonald's clown. I don't know. But anyways, it's a blend of fighter jet inspiration and Italian luxury, creating an immersive experience. Or in other words, the interior is cool. It's a bit too much plastic. I mean, there is luxury and there is performance. Moving on to the Audi R8 V10 Plus. Now, the Audi R8 V10 Plus offers a cabin that's sleek and metic meticulously craft. Sleek and meticulously meticulous meticulous <laughs> Fuck. I, I i wrote that it is meticulously crafted the audi virtual cockpit provides cutting edge technology making it a driver's dream now if for some reason you didn't watch our audi r8 v10 plus review one of the things i really liked is the interior of the car it's extremely simple there is really nothing much going on like there isn't there's nothing crazy there's no big screens i mean of course other than the, the the obvious one there's no big infotainment system in the center there isn't there's just buttons and everything everywhere it's extremely simple and it's extremely like just get in the car and drive the car it's a cool interior though very nice which one's a winner i it's a personal preference do you like are you a drop shipper who likes to flex or are you a simple person who likes simple things. I It honestly depends on the day, right? So the Audi R8 V10 Plus works perfectly for me. So I'm just going to give it to the Audi R8. But you are, you're you're free to, to choose whichever one is better. Now, let's virtually hit the road. Because I obviously don't have none of the cars. So let's just imagine we, we're... Just try to listen and understand. The Lamborghini Huracan offers a pure raw driving experience with its all-wheel drive system, ensuring you're always in control. It is the definition of unadulterated speed and passion on what does un uh, excuse me sir what does un adulterated adulterated you don't know what that means do you you are stupid you need to go to school an adulter on what what does that mean leaving it at that in other words the lamborghini harkon is 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 a very very raw car and comparing it to the audi r8 or even the ferrari 488 gtb it's gonna have a bit more of that just crazy rawness and i feel like it applies to all of lamborghini's cars except the yours because the yours is a piece of shit. unadulterated so i was i was wrong either way unadulterated Mixed or dial okay no added substances is, is an adult uh, rated whatever the hell that was um but we were saying yeah it, you're just gonna get a very raw experience out of the lamborghini while the audi r8 v10 plus delivers a more composed drive thanks to its audi quattro all-wheel drive system it's a supercar that can double as a daily driver offering a balance of comfort and performance so yeah i agree with what i wrote because the audi r8 v10 plus is a great daily if you don't have kids if you're not a person who travels around with a lot of luggages and stuff like that, I mean, the Audi R8 V10 Plus, I mean, it's an Audi. The Audi R8 V10 Plus is not a very stiff car as well. I mean, it is low to the ground and it does get uncomfortable after a while, uh, but it is not, it's not a stiff car. It's not a car you're going to get in and, and walk out uh, with scoliosis, which is a plus. The Lamborghini Huracan is, is it's a 50-50. Driving experience, I would say the Huracan is 
probably a bit more special, but not to take away from the R8 because the R8 is a great. So as I was saying before, the camera ran out of storage and I had to delete half of uh, everything. The, the driving experience you're gonna get out of the Harkon is great and and a bit more raw and a bit more super car-y while on the R8 is gonna be a bit more understandable, predictable and composed. Again, not to take away from the R8, the R8 is a great car to drive. It's fast as hell, it's loud, it sounds good, it's responsive, it feels good. Um, so yeah. Now let us take a look at the exterior of both cars and we're gonna start with the Lamborghini Huracan. When it comes to looks, the Lamborghini Huracan stuns with sharp angles, aggressive lines and just crazy. Even though it is practically the cheapest Lamborghini you could buy, I think, as of right now, the, che yeah, the cheapest Lamborghini you could buy is a Lamborghini Huracan. But for those who don't understand, this is not like buying a 1 Series from BMW, this is still a Lamborghini, and it's the Lamborghini Huracan. So the design is definitely aggressive, it's definitely nice, I am personally not a very big fan of the front end, but again, who am I? On the other hand, the Audi R8 V10 Plus is a picture of understated elegance. It's sleek, sophisticated, and emates, em emanates subtle confidence listen in in normal human words it's a lovely looking car and i would definitely take the r8 v10 plus over a harkon overall because the rear end of the harkon is a bit better i think like side by side it is a tough decision to make i honestly don't know i honestly don't know because i always say stuff and then when i'm sitting and editing i'm looking at the stuff i'm like hmm, maybe i shouldn't have said that because i'm starting to like the other thing more once you put things side by side now the million dollar question the lamborghini harkon's passionate performance or the audi r8 v10 plus's precise engineering well the choice is yours just like we do in all of them vs videos i believe both cars offer a very very thrilling driving experience a very fun driving experience yeah as we all know the audi r8 v10 plus and the lamborghini harkon are pretty much siblings because the cars are you know the audi and Lamborghini are both owned by them guys back at uh, Volkswagen uh, but in reality both the cars are different both the cars have their main characteristics and they have their main good points and their main bad points it is completely up to you to decide which one you like more and uh, yeah let me know down below which one you guys think is better and uh, shout out uh, to Kuya for his uh, R8 V10 Plus as he gave us his R8 V10 Plus to film it and if you haven't seen it Maybe check it out. I don't know how to leave a link. So close your eyes and scroll and you'll find it. And yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.